since we discussed about uh, memory area of the JVM from our last video, I decided to discuss about the data type in this video because uh, data types are it's very important to know about the data types when we discuss about the memory area because finally ultimately data is uh, going to reside in the memory area so uh, don't get confused these data types are not the data types you would see in the java language this is the uh, data type which deal with jvm but uh, the good part is it's more or less it's very same with the java language and jvm data type so JVM data types also, there's a two parts, which is a primitive types and reference type. The difference between these two are uh, primitive types itself, it's uh, holding the uh, value of this uh, data. And the reference type is always uh, holding the reference. It's not holding uh, itself data, but uh, it's not holding a value itself, but the reference. In the uh, primitive type, as you know, it's holding the value itself. All the language uh, primitive types are deal exactly same as the primitive types in JVM as well. But there is a very small um, difference when it comes to Boolean because the Boolean, even though it considers a primitive type, it get very less support by its instruction set. Uh, when it comes to JVM, Boolean always represent by either int or byte uh, boolean false is represented as a zero and boolean true is represented as non-zero and if it is a, a operatable boolean then it represents by um, int value and if it is an array of boolean then it represents by array of byte uh, in the bit value and uh, you know this array is a type we are going to discuss about discuss in next array is a type which is reside in the heap so that's why i told you like boolean is a little bit different when it comes to the other primitive types if you talk about the size of these data types it's always uh, same in every environment but uh, the di difference is long the long always takes 64 bit to complement as its size it doesn't change based on the platform it doesn't matter what the underlying platform is in every specific implementation it take the same size and there is another primitive type which is called return address type uh, that's developers doesn't get access to that this is specific for jvm uh, because you can't find that in your language uh, what this address type is does uh, jvm used to implement the final block you know uh, final the final block to implementation of the final uh, keyword uh, jvm use this uh, data type return address type so we are going to discuss uh, in detail about internal architecture internal structure about the class file dot class file so there we are going to discuss about uh, this final final block otherwise final keyword and how the how its implementation works if you take data type as we discussed it take uh, two parts one one is primitive other one is reference keep in mind we are discussing about jvm data types okay so when it comes to the primitive there are three type of uh, primitive data we are discussing one is numeric other one is boolean and other one is return address okay so if you get uh, numeric again you can divide the two parts which is a floating and non-floating or else we call this as a integral type okay so floating you have uh, two division again float and double okay integral type is you have you can find byte short int 
long and other one is cha okay so return address type we discussed this is a specific type which used to implement the final okay so and if you get the uh, reference type so there are three reference type we can talk in java one is class type reference other one is interface type reference other one is array type reference okay so different uh, between these types class is always reference to uh, instance of this class type uh, instance of class and interface is reference to implementation class instance of this particular interface so don't get confused a class is always referring to the uh, class instance and interface is a reference to class implementation as example if you get uh, interface a and its implement class b so here uh, this will reference to instance of b okay so array type is reference to arrays so there is other type which is called null other reference type but null is a specific type which not reference to anywhere and if you take uh, there is other keyword special keyword called word in other word word size word size is a just a base because uh, you can't measure from word size but word size is a just a base um, as example if you have experience working with the agile uh, methodology you talk about story points a story point is not a unit in a general world but in only for the agile so likewise word size is just a unit just a base we need to assign uh, a value into the word uh, word size in order to explain that so word size JVM implementation always talk about the word size and the length of the word size is decided by particular implementation. But there are two guidelines, two rules to uh, define the length of the word size. Rule number one, the word, si uh, the word size, particular word should be able to hold any primitive data type. Okay, so let's say for example you have a word and you have a, a variable called int a. The, this view word should be able to hold a and the rule number two double of word I mean uh, two words should be able to carry long o uh, double value those are the two rules in order to uh, take into consideration uh, when you implementing word but uh, you know then according to this rule at least word should be length of 32 bit otherwise we can't uh, get into these rules as I said internal JVM implementation always talking as word for example if you take a uh, stack Java stack what we discussed uh, in the last video uh, we, we discussed that it's used to hold the local variables so if you uh, create a local uh, Java stack with the size of the word and when some local variable put into this uh, stack Java stack uh, especially local variable section uh, if you put the uh, primitive type it should be uh, hold by one word and if you put some uh, long or uh, double then it would hold by two words okay so now we discussed about data types so uh, last video we discussed about the three types what is class loader memory area and execution so out of that we little went in detail about the memory area so since memory area hold by other data so today we discussed about the data types so data type is nothing but it's almost identical with uh, java language data type except return address type so um, i hope you have understanding about return address type as well as word those are the only new things comes with uh, uh, when we discuss about the jvm architecture so let's maintain next video to discuss about some uh, other section like class loader or something in detail.